we're back on the pickup again another day um, it's gonna be a short video this one I think yeah most of you are gonna be a short video because uh, when you've only got like an hour to work on it uh, when you're at this stage of a project anyway for me anyway uh, it takes you an hour just to just move a panel half an inch just to get it into position and really you don't really know how good uh, YouTube that makes um, but anyway you follow me along you can fast forward you can do stuff so uh, I will try not to waffle but you know me I like to talk and uh, yeah so what we're gonna just attempt to do in this session session is just try and get this um, bulkhead line to match up a little bit more with the scuttle panel so as I said one thing they're doing is jacking up the outer sides off the car of the floor just to bring the outside up which will lift these pillars up and bring that into position sure I should be using a tape measure keep it simple stupid uh, bolt jack bit of wood two blocks of metal either side um, and let's see what happens well like, to be fair I've just done it a little bit and look you can see that gap coming up lovely so let's uh, put you in in your harness I'm trying to be gentle holding you guys, you don't really feel it. Uh, but I do know I can make you sick. And that's just the videos. Yeah, I will sort my camera out at some point, I know that it glints and stuff. Zoom you in a bit. So you can see that. So you let me know. Let's jack it slowly. Yeah, you can see it like that like a precise well-oiled machine yeah that's good so that's telling me regardless of if this panel now has gone down either side I'm not too worried because what you're more important about is this gap here being pretty much like a, a mini for a window in. Um, obviously the gap's either side, because again, that's where the windscreen fits. So you've got to have your windscreen hole right. You can't, you know, there's nothing else we can do about it. I'm not gonna start cutting glass. So yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna start cutting glass. But yeah, happy with that. More time for some more checks. What I fancy doing is just cutting a bit more of this is the old inner wing. Um, spot welds onto the parcel shelf inside and also this inner panel, which on this side needs replacing as well. Catch panel, whatever it's called. Um, so let's clean that up. See if I can even the shock absorber mount off as well. That's all got to go because um, where's my inner wings? This is a bit that always takes time now. Just trying different panels, trying to work out uh, what's a good panel, what's not a good panel, what needs lining up, what doesn't need lining up. So, and how we're going to weld this stuff as well. Because normally um, we do the A panel afterwards on these ones, or I have done, which makes getting in here easy. But obviously, this is uh, an end machine panel, which is all one. To the actual uh, lower door step, I think. So, uh, yeah, I would have done the inner wings maybe a little bit sooner if I was doing it. I don't really want to chop much out, but then to be honest, the A panel's only held on by a couple of tacks at the top, um, and then worst case, you have to cut through the door step again. It's got a cut in it. Anyway. So we might be able to do that. It might might be have to be worth doing. So uh, concerns at the moment. 
quite a gap between the floor at the, at there and the bulkhead or where your foot, foot well is. So I need to have a bit more of a think around that. Obviously, um, obviously we've lifted the floor up. But everything else is looking quite good around the top. I haven't really clamped it too well up here. Obviously there's a big gap up here, but I'm not worried about that. Around. I'll just try and get it in place roughly. Uh, scale panels I find do sort of spring into place anyway. So uh, yeah. Looking good, looking good. More thinking. I think what I'm gonna do is we'll have a look at the passenger side as well. We'll get the inner wing repair passenger wing in there as well. Okay, what I'm thinking is obviously what other people are thinking is, hey, why don't you just get the whole inner wing? Because that would help you. And it mostly would actually. So it might have to be an option, but um, I'm trying not to at the moment, uh, but we'll see how it goes. If I have to, I have to, um, because yeah, the inner wings would help, give me a lot more alignment. Good or bad news, the uh, passenger side's inconsistent as well, inconsistently the same. So it could be just a shape of the panel, I'll have a check with a few other people. It could be that, yeah, the floor's still too high. My finger. There, you know, physically, but other things are lining up, so. Uh, obviously, in the end, I'm not going to weld anything on until I've even got the front end on and wings on. Silly not to. Alrighty, that's going to be it. You know, I've got to try and take a bit of time on this, think about things. So, uh, a little bit of research. I'm thinking as well, maybe I've just got to pull the pillars in a little bit as well. We can double check the measurement of crossways as well for the window. Not much, just five mil or so. Um, somebody has put a strengthening bar in there, but in the end they've only put it um, where they've cut so much out. It's actually, it's holding a bit of the panels together, but actually it's not stopping the whole body coming apart. Uh, so, yeah, we're getting there. Oh, can't undo the door because I put the panel at the back there. Take the door off this way. Yeah, suicide doors. Yeah, suicide doors. We love suicide doors. Oh, that's about that. Plastic door in there. So let's just have a quick show you around. So you can see the floor coming together there. You know, it's actually not too bad. You know, it then just starts to go around and the last bit just loses its shape. Obviously, that needs pushing in yet, like that. So. But yeah, uh, you can see that panel, that side's been replaced. This side hasn't yet, it's just still the old one. But as you can see, you know, there's nothing stopping. They put a brace in, but there's nothing stopping the rest of the body going in now at the moment. So uh, yeah, what I have got the option of doing, whether I want to or not, I might need to. There's a couple of tackle welds holding that on and just up here. So without much effort, that A panel will come back off again which might be needed to be done. I'm gonna have to have a think. As I said, it's a bit tricky getting in. We're just getting in the way the panels all fold over. But anyway, all right guys, um, what day is it today? Technically I'm a day behind from what you are, but actually it's pasta Tuesday, bit of chorizo chicken and spaghetti stringy thingies. So anyway, See you tomorrow. Um, I've got a thought just a few spare bits out ready for the Mark 1 to go. Um, so that's going in the next couple of days, hopefully. So I'm not too sure if I'll get a couple, miss a couple of videos, but let me just get back into my routine and it'll be all right, hopefully. P.S. Thanks for all your kind comments on, on the Mark 1 video when I told you the big news. So uh, yeah, uh, yeah, really appreciate it.